Some of y'all don't know who Lorna Simpson is, and it shows. Kidding. <laughs> Let's learn together. <laughs> Hey y'all, my name is Jalen and this is Arden Color, a art history YouTube channel where I talk about contemporary artists of color for the most part. This week there was an Essence magazine cover that came out with Rihanna on it and it was a collaboration with Lorna Simpson and the comments had me yelling. They were like, WTF is this? Why does Rihanna have ice cubes on her head? What is going on? I figured maybe this could be an educational moment that we could have together about who Lorna Simpson is and why in the world she put ice cubes on Rihanna's head. <laughs> Also, before this video starts, I do have a Patreon, and if you subscribe on the first tier, which I believe is $3 a month, you get entered into a drawing for a contemporary art book of my choosing. And I have chosen the book for this quarter. It is going to be Black Futures, put together by Jenna Wortham and Kimberly Drew, and it has some really cool interesting chapters about different artists and different contemporary visual moments that we're having. So please join my Patreon, you'll be entered into a chance to win it and I'll announce in the next video who the winner is. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much. Now on to the learning. Lorna Simpson is an artist who was born in Brooklyn where she continues to live and work. In college she studied painting but quickly decided that painting was her medium of interest. She's been making art since the 1980s and is best known for her conceptual photos. In her work, she often challenges stereotypes of racial and sexual identity, particularly thinking about any work she's made that aligns with the Rihanna shoot. She's often questioning representations of black women in photography and media. She often uses archival images from Jet and Ebony magazine, often displacing the black women within them and positioning them into experimental, natural, or even fantasy-like spaces. Lorna Simpson is also known for carefully posed portraits in which she puts text next to images to sort of further explain notions of identity, race, sexuality, gender, etc. Now to talk about Miss Robin Rihanna Fenty. Just four days ago, there was a cover reveal online of Essence Magazine's January-February 2021 cover featuring Rihanna. The cover was done in collaboration with Lorna Simpson, and the reactions to the cover were literally hilarious. It was primarily people who maybe haven't encountered Lorna Simpson's work before, so they were questioning, you know, is this a joke? Why did they do this? As we all know here on planet Earth, Rihanna is always on the cutting edge of fashion and beauty. She has her Savage Fenty fashion show in which she features, you know, trans models, drag queen models, people who are considered plus size models but really they're just like people who wear clothes every day so she's going off she has minty beauty incredible range of shades all the other girls were like wait a minute we have to make a dark brown and Rihanna was like yes you do and she also has music that you just simply have to bop to so like Rihanna is powerful and she's doing a lot of good things in the world with the creative director of the shoot they decided to collaborate with artist Lorna Simpson the magazine is said to feature a series of original photographic collages by Lorna Simpson for the cover and a 12-page portfolio entitled Of Earth and Sky. Simpson is quoted as saying, collaborating with Rihanna and Essence magazine is quite incredible. As an artist, I am able to deliver these unusual images of someone who is so well known and so recognizable. It's an amazing opportunity. I think this is a wonderful first step for magazines and popular media engaging with artists in a more meaningful way um, besides just like museums and these institutional spaces like now Lorna Simpson is on magazine stands and it's really fun and people will encounter her who have never seen her art before. She's also been honored by the Whitney, the Studio Museum in Harlem, and the Guggenheim so she is doing wonderfully. I'll provide some links below about her artwork and also the cover, maybe just some more images, things like that. The question of the day is who is your favorite collage artist? Please leave the comments below. Start the discussion. I'll reply. It'll be cool. Until next time, thank you so much for watching this video. Goodbye!